I'd like to demonstrate the microwave located in this vehicle. Uh, first off, we haven't got any illumination of the microwave at the moment, although we've got a main supply. It's because I haven't turned on the socket. So I've just got a, a rocker switch, which I've now just turned on. You can now see the time has come live. Uh, so various ways to work the microwave. We can come to a quick start button, which is this one here. And if I press that button, we'll either get 30 seconds or a minute appear here. I think it's a minute. There's a minute and it's already started counting down. If I wanted two minutes, just press it again. If I want to stop that, uh, that's how the clock at 1 minute 53. I can open up the door, just press that button in there. I can move the contents and do whatever I need to, give it a quick stir if necessary. Turn it, push it back in and continue by pressing start again. And the counter starts to go down as you can see, or stop and clear. Press it a second time on the stop button. That's now brought you back to the original timer. So if I wish to go into more programming of the microwave, I can come onto the microwave switch, which is between the start and the stop button, which is this one here. And as you can see, I've got flashing symbol, that's 100% that same. But as I turn this button here now, you can see that I'm changing the power level. So I can go to 80%, 50%, 30%, 10%, etc., or back to 100%. Confirm the level that you want to go at, which is that now. And then you come onto the timer at seconds. I'm now putting into it, there's a minute for instance, and I can rotate this valve here and it just goes all the way through to wherever I want it to go to, say 15 minutes then in this case. Okay, that's okay. Press start and that's now working, timing down on the, on the timer. But I don't want that to work because we haven't got anything inside the microwave. Apart from, just to point out, the turntable itself, it's a glass plate, that's glass, and obviously a turning ring itself, the rotation ring. So just make sure they are present. Um, just for storage of this in transit, I don't like to have uh, this bouncing around in transit. This is just me personally. Uh, there's various places you can put them. I've seen clients put them into the plate racks for transit, something like that. Um, myself, I prefer to put it into a location more to the front of the caravan. And I like to ram it into this area here where it's underneath the base cushion, sorry, underneath the backrest cushion and this armrest at the front, and it's quite tight and secure in there too. No uh, real definite positions, it's down to the individual and how you feel that you'd like to actually store that in transit. Uh, but as I say, for when in use, just make sure that you have got those correctly positioned. And it's going to rotate when, uh, when required. Obviously the illumination of the microwave inside, and you can also go into an auto mode and defrost by weight, etc., etc. But that's down to you to program. Thank you for listening to this video.